Hey, all, it's Ian with the Sports Card Side Hustle. I wanted to touch base today and cover Luka Doncic and what the Olympics will do as far as impact on his prices. How his Olympic performance, as he's now had another great game, getting them into the semifinal, looks like medal contention. Um, good chance of the gold if they can overcome Rudy Gobert in France in the semifinal to get to a probable matchup with the United States in a gold. So, uh, to note, in the last 24 hours after his outstanding performance in the semifinal game in the Olympics, where he led his um, team at a double-double, he's third in volume in the entire sports card market, only behind MJ and LeBron. Um, I find the volume can be a little misleading when it's just by total price. It doesn't have a total sales yet in card ladder as far as individual items, etc. It could be one high-value item, but regardless... Fifty over fifty thousand dollars in sales of Luca in the last twenty four hours. As we take a look at the gra- graphics and uh, charts in the Sports Card Investor um, app, you can see last seven days he's up over five percent in uh, usually a slow time in basketball card market year after the NBA season ended. Over ten percent overall in the thirty day, but his PSA ten is up over twenty uh, percent just in that thirty days with some sharp increase um, going from around the 800 mark to over 900 in the last two weeks as he's had a strong performance. So let's keep an eye on Luca. Um, keep an eye on um, his individual cards. That was the Panini Prism base card. It looks like people have um, kind of not shied away from his Prism base as much lately as you see those cards going up. You know, there was fear of overproduction. Let's keep an eye. We'll keep watching his uh, daily card uh, player index here and um, see how the Olympics impact him. But if he gets to a gold medal game and has a strong performance against the United States, expect that to have a strong impact in the market and his, um, his cards for the future.